Hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? It is that time of the month again. I got my package from Salvino's JR Models because I'm in the Builders Club. And, uh, well, you know, let's uh, open this up and take a look at it. Let's just get right past all the shenanigans and make this happen. Alrighty, so I am ready to open this up and let's see never mind the barking dog in the background We have an insane animal in the house. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see if Aaron and Carmine Are still playing their games with me, but I know there's something really special in here I'm really looking forward to on top of having the model kit a really cool sticker, but oh, It's upside down, but that's okay. A Richard Petty Charger. All right, all right, I know. Everybody goes, well, they keep doing Richard Petty Chargers. Well, yeah, because Richard Petty's cool, and Chargers are cool. But this is a really cool charger, and this is actually, out of all the Chargers they've done, this is really the one I, I really want to build, but there's something really special, and we're going to take a look at this kit. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to look at it. But first, you know, we've also got the, this, the extra decals we get. And uh, the, the dog is driving me crazy. It's one of those meme dogs. Yeah, we got one of them Japanese. I can't think of what they're called. But, you know, you always see them in the memes. He's insane. Anyways, so. Uh, <clears throat> oh, cool. I love those Velveline decals. I'll take them. I don't care what decals. You give me, you're going to give me, oh cool, another AJ Foyt set. I, I, I've been needing more of these because I just never have enough. What's cool is this was pre, they couldn't do Winston, they can't use Winston anymore so we've got another Winston cup and I think this one has uh, I think it has a Winston cup on there. That would be nice. Something, I don't, maybe not. Maybe this was when they had to stop doing the Winston Cup decal, which is a bummer. <clears throat> Just, you know, legalities. This one here is another um, bud decal sheet. And, you know, all this stuff is all really useful. Yeah, we got a Winston right there, an eight, mid-80s Winston decal. So those are getting to be worth their weight in gold or paper because they can't print those anymore. It's forboden. So, this thing here is what I'm really out of the whole package. I'm really excited about because this was a, a new sticker that uh, that they sent to all of us, and I love it. Check it out. Why do we build Sovino's JR models? Cause they're fun. Here's the producers. No, no, no. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. That is, that's really uh, quite an honor, honestly, guys. I really appreciate that, you fellas over there at SJRM. Man, thank you. That's, that's honorable. I appreciate that. That's very cool. So let's open this up. This is very cool. The, the, what's very unique about this particular one and why I like it, and this has always really been the STP43 Charger, is this was the last year that NASCAR allowed them. They extended the year because Dodge didn't have uh, any car that really worked for, for NASCAR. They didn't have a, a, a good legal body. So NASCAR went ahead and all the Dodge teams were kind of like allowed to go one more year with this old body style because what did this descended in 73 this was a 73 charger and um you know they, they can body body styles cannot be older than two years or three years and this was the extended year basically is what i'm saying so they went into an extra year they allowed it so this was going to be the last time for the dodge charger and ultimately pretty much uh the last full year that uh richard petty ran a dodge that was the end of that but they didn't know anything but what was unique about this one what i liked about it was it just had a different look about it because the pinstriping was a blue not a white so it just gave it a different look and i believe this is the car last 
Das Dodge that he raced, and this is the one that's down in the museum. And many years ago, I got to see the car in real life, and it was just so beautiful. So I always wanted to build this one. This one's really cool. And we'll just look around the box. Art is same as always, and of course, we've looked at... They've got the awesome Ford Mustang back. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open this up. Enough of my jibba-jabba. I'll take Hobby Knife. Because I haven't gotten my official um, Luca C, Little Luca Hobby Knife. It hasn't been delivered to me yet. All right. Also, another thing I'm kind of stoked about where everybody kind of goes, Oh, man, I kind of am glad. This thing's got some special stuff about it. I'll show you. But first of all, yep. It's done in petty blue, which is cool. It's got some, well, well there was some schmutz, I think, that was uh, machine grease was there. I hope that's what it was. <laughs> Not body in good shape. And I showed in, a, in that video right here, if you're not wanting to paint this, you've got your parting lines, a couple parting lines. You can polish that out really good. And most of it gets covered up anyways, but you remember this one? This was the one that I did that uh, um, I cleared. It's a little dirty now, but I got rid of all the party lines here. And then this was that stick-on wrap deal, which was kind of an experiment. And it, and it was cool. I really like this. This is a cool-looking one. But you see what I mean? White pinstripe. So I might paint this. I might not. I don't know. But I definitely will probably just build this chassis and just clear it because it's already petty blue. And it's kind of cool. Oh, they've done these in this part, these trees in silver. We've seen all this part of the model, the, these these dodges a million times. They got all the necessary part. We got all the we still have hemi stuff in here, but we also have small block stuff, which is cool. All your from the different years. So we have different bumpers. They are specific to years, so you gotta pay attention. When, and on your instructions, there's your... Oh, that carburetor. That carburetor looks really cool. Is that a new carburetor? i got to look back at my other kits. It looks pretty cool. But in that really killer chrome they got that you can't strip. And who cares? <laughs> ah, this is what I'm looking forward to seeing. Okay, the decals are really cool. Clay Kemp designed and uh, put out by Power Slide because Power Slide always does great decals. So if you want to paint your fluorescent red or vermilion, whatever you like to call it, you've got all the pinstriping, the blue pinstriping. That's really cool. Beautiful decals. They're always beautiful decals. Just always. Isn't that neat? This is this is the new thing. This is a brand new type of decal that I another reason why I want to build this car here pretty soon I'll be doing a video on it is look at that out of all the other vermilions if you've ever gotten them before this is the first time that they've finally had the vermilions with the kit you used to have to buy them separate because they were still playing with them and they were experimental so they weren't really working out great some people had luck with them some didn't but these are I can even tell how they are they're, they're different but these are a little bit more stretchable clay designed them in a panel form so you don't have a long decal to deal with so that's probably going to be really easy to deal with um yeah and the fact that it, it the material that these are printed on the the decal film it's kind of a stretchier type of decal from what i understand and it conforms a lot better and it's easier to move around and you just you just will have a lot easier time with it so i'm looking forward to trying that out that is that with that so um I don't know if I I'm I'm up in the air of doing what I did with that other one and just kind of giving this a clearing and decaling and just kind of working all the all that stuff or I might paint it petty blue. I've got some petty blue in the garage, which will be interesting if I paint the body petty blue and I not the chassis. I would I would totally build that chassis and just shoot clear on it. And I bet you it would look great. But I tell you, I, I love these kits. I haven't f 
finished my start my charge my first charger that I started, which I was having fun building that. But this is definitely a cool one because this is a, a unique and kind of historic car. It was you know one year only paint scheme, you know, with those blue uh, pinstripes. That should be a fun build. I think I'm just going to do a cool out of the boxer, but I am going to do a, a, a decaling video with this, I think. I'll probably do that here pretty soon. And we'll get that all decaled up and we'll see how these these new style of decals, it's something that nobody's ever done before. So we're going to we're going to try them out and see how different they are and how they end up looking and how easy they are to put put together. If you haven't joined the Builders Club, you should check it out. You can go over to their website. They have a uh, place right on the website to click on and gives you all the information how you can get in with the club and it's 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 a lot of fun we have our tuesday night meetings and uh, if you haven't ever checked out on facebook on salvino's jr models facebook it is a really fun saturday morning show uh, lots of times you'd be amazed at the guests that they have on that show i one of my favorites was dale edmund you know, Richard Petty's cousin slash crew chief that, you know, crew chief that car right there. The stories he would tell. And many other historic people from, from the old days of NASCAR come on that show sometimes. It's very interesting. And then sometimes you might clock in and have me on there. And then it'd be like, then I can understand why you'd shut it off and wait till next week. We have a lot of fun on that. So, uh, but if you want to get into being a part of the, the Builders Club kind of meeting that we have uh that's on tuesday nights and you have to be in the club and also the facebook group there's a exclusive facebook group for just us members so it's it's a lot of fun you, there's a lot of cool benefits and it's it's really fun to be a part of this so a lot of great builders a lot of fun things exchanged on the facebook group and and you'll just really enjoy it so with that being said i have got some resin casting to do a little more model building to do and that's what we do here, model building, right? Because uh, why do we build, why build Salvino's JR models? Because they are fun. That's not a lie. Here's the producers.